Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are finishing up the 2007 AP Calculus free response questions. So here is number six. <clears throat> Uh, let f be the function defined by f of x equals k root x minus ln x for x greater than 0, where k is a positive constant. Find the derivative of x and the second derivative of x. Okay. So f prime of x for k root x, this is really, I write it as kx to the 1 half minus ln x. So I can do power rules. So it's k times 1 half x to the negative 1 half minus derivative of ln x is 1 over x. So to simplify this, this would be k over 2 root x minus 1 over x. So that's f prime, f double prime of x. Using this one again, it's k times 1 half times negative 1 half x to the negative 3 halves minus, this is x to the negative 1, so that's negative 1 x to the negative 2. This is negative one-fourth <clears throat> k over x to the three-halves minus a negative that's plus one over x squared. Okay, so that's first and second derivative. Um, for what value of the constant k does f have a critical point at x equals one? For this value of k, determine whether it has a relative min max. Okay, for a critical point, um, I need the derivative equal to zero or undefined, but k would just it would just make it zero. So I want k over two root x minus one over x to equal zero. I can add so that means one over x is equal to k over two root x. Uh, I can multiply through by x, so I get one is equal to k x over two root x. X over root x is just square root of x. Or you could, you could see that by multiplying by root x over root x. Or you can do it by exponents, like x to the 1 over x to the 1 half. That would be x to the 1 half. I subtract the exponents, and that's square root of x. So however you want to see that, but x over root x is square root of x. So um, 2 over k. Oh, I, I'm solving for Oh, and I want it uh, to be at 1. Uh, so I want the critical point x equal 1. So this is just k over 2. Um, so then k would equal 2. Okay. So then the derivative looks like this. 2 over 2 root x, which would just be 1 over square root of x minus 1 over x. Now when k is bigger than... Now you can use a second derivative test or first derivative test. It doesn't really matter. Why don't we do second derivative test? Because we have the second derivative. The second derivative, if k is 2, is negative 1 half 1 over x to the 3 halves plus 1 over x squared. Evaluate x equals 1. When I plug in 1, I get negative 1 half plus 1. That's 1 half. So um, the second derivative at 1 is greater than 0. So that's positive. So it's concave up. That implies k equals 2 is a minimum. Because a concave up looks like this. So critical point and it's concave up, that makes it a minimum. Okay, C, part C. For a certain value of the constant k, the graph is a point of inflection on the x-axis. Find this value of k. Well, point of inflection is when the second derivative changes signs. So I need to, where it changes signs, it's zero or undefined. So I have negative one-fourth k over x to the three-halves plus one over x squared has to equal zero. Now, what x value do I have to do is that this has to be on the x-axis. So on the x-axis is when, when the y value is 0. So what I know is for it to be on the y-axis, it has to be, this has to be, f of x has to equal 0. Because I need the y value to be 0 to be on the x-axis. So that tells me that... Um, k root x has to equal ln x. And so that's true for, um, hmm. can't actually solve that. Interesting. 
Well, let's just try to solve this and see what happens. Um, Can multiply through by x squared to just get rid of everything on the denominator. k root x plus 1 equals 0. So that means 1 fourth k root x equals 1. So k root x has to equal 4. When does root x equal ln x? Oh, I should just plot it. Root x looks like this, and ln x looks like this. So is it 1? No. 1 at 0. Oh, so when I subtract the t yeah, when are they equal to each other? Because when I subtract them, they have to be 0. So I'm trying to find this point. Well, I do know that k, like in this case, k would have to equal ln x over root x. So if I plug that into here, oh, oh that's clever. So I plug that into here, because I know whatever the k is, it would have to be this. It would have to be um, ln x over root x, root x has to equal 4. That implies ln x has to equal 4, or x has to equal um, uh, e to the 4. OK, let me kind of break out what we're doing here. So x is e to the 4. So that means the k value, plugging, in, cause plugging back into k, I get ln e to the 4 over the square root of e to the 4. ln e to the 4 is 4. Square root of e to the 4 is e squared. Because this is e to the 4 to the 1 half, so it's e squared. That would be that value of k. That was a tricky one. I had to think about that for a little bit. Um, OK, let's see how we did. k over 2 root x minus 1 over x, negative 1 for k, x to the negative 3 halves plus x to the negative 2. That's correct. But the second derivative test is a relative minimum. 4 over e squared. All right. So did that one. So hope you guys found that helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.